Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's pronounced forest. <laughs> Four. Run, forest, run! <laughs> Alright, are you ready to spe spiel? <laughs> you have spiel. We're spinning the wheel All right. of Bardic Death. Let's do it. No whammy, no whammy. Ah. <laughs> ah. Love of Kingdom. Love of Kingdom, alright. Uh, I smell sacred. My lord. <laughs> you can't really intend an audience if you're not part of it. There's a lot of ways to love a kingdom. You love their kingdom by wearing their colors, sharing their name, sharing on people to victory. Truly to love your kingdom, you have to be willing to put everything on the line when your kingdom is in greatest need. Even if you leave that kingdom, even if there is no hope for victory, and in your heart of hearts you know that you lead your men to die, they cannot know. Because you have to truly love your kingdom enough to know there is always hope. And we learn this in St. Crispin's Day speech, Henry V. I apologize. Henry was asked by one of his men, he couldn't find more men from England. This is how he was far. <coughs> What's he that wishes so? My cousin? Westmoreland? No, fair cousin. Wish not one man more for me. For if we are today to die, then we are enough to do our country loss. But if to live, the fewer the men, the greater the share of honor. I am not a covetous man. I do not yearn for gold. I care not who's a feed upon my cloth. It yields me not if men my garments wear. But if it be a sin to covet honor, then I am the most sinless soul alive. Wish not one man more. For me thinks that I would not share the bitter glory that one man more would take from me. Rather, proclaim it, Westmoreland, throughout my host, that he that hath no stomach for this fight, let him leave. His passport shall be made, and coins of transport put into his purse. For we shall not die in the company of such a man that fears his fellowship to die with us. Tomorrow is known as the Feast of Christmas. And he who lives through this day and makes it safely home shall every year stand a tiptoe in the name of Crispian is roused. He that lives this day and sees old age, shall yearly on the vigil feast his neighbors, and then shall he strip his sleeves and show his scars and say, These wounds had I upon St. Crispin's day. Old men forget, and yet all shall be forgot, but we shall in their cups be freshly remembered. Harry the King. Walworth, Gloucester and Talbot. This story the good man shall tell his son. And now, Christian Christian shall go by. But that's it. We shall be remembered. We few. We happy few. We band of brothers. For he that fights with me today shall be my brother, be he ne'er so vile. This day shall gentle his condition. And men, now abed in England, shall think themselves accursed, and hold their manhoods cheap, whilst any speaks that fought with us upon St. Crispin's day. <laughs>